Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 44 in my IGCSE exam questions series, and this is on proportion. Give the questions a go. If you find it useful, please like the video and subscribe, and let's get into the maths. Okay, so these questions can be very common, very samey. It says that T is directly proportional, so we write that T is proportional to the cube of R, so we write R cubed. Then whenever we see that proportional sign, we replace it with an equal sign, and then we multiply it by k, where k is some constant which we need to find. And then we'll be always given um, a set of conditions. In this case, we can sub in 21.76 for t, and we can sub in 4 for r. So to find k, we would divide both sides by 4 cubed, and that will give me k. So let's find out what it is. Up pops the calculator, 21.76 over 4 cubed. And that is 17 over 50, or 0 0.34. And then what we do is we go back to the formula which we created at the start and we just sub in what the k value we found is. So we write t is equal to 0 0.34 times by r cubed. And then it asks us to find the value of t when r is equal to 6. So we just use the formula. We write t is equal to 0 0.34 times by r is now 6, so 6 cubed. And we write times by 6 cubed. And we get a value of 73.44. Perfect. Okay, next question is inversely proportional this time. So we write t is proportional to the inverse of m squared. So that's 1 over m squared, like that. So when it's inversely proportional, we write 1 over whatever the variable is. And then we replace the proportional sign with a times by, a k times by, sorry. So we get this. And then we use the conditions we're given. t is 30, m is 0 0.5. So we write t is 30. And we have 1 over 0 0.5 squared. And this time, rather than dividing through, we're going to times through to cancel that 0 0.5 squared. So timesing both sides by 0 0.5 squared. It's going to give us 30 times 0 0.5 squared, which is 7.5. And that times by 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.5, 5 squared will cancel with this divide by 0 0.5 squared. So we get our value for k. And then we go back to our original formula and we write it out, but we replace the k with what we found, which is 7.5. And you could tidy this up a bit and write that as 7.5 over m squared if you wanted to. Okay, now work out the value of t when m equals 0 0.1. We just sub in. So t is equal to 7.5 over 0 0.1 squared. And we get 750. Okay, next question is slight, is set up slightly differently, which makes it a bit trickier. It does say you've got x and y values, and y is inversely proportional to the square of x. So we write y is, in, is proportional to 1 over, because it's inversely the square of x, so x squared. And then we write that y is equal to k times by 1 over x squared. And then we need to just take a set of values. So normally they give you just one set, but here they've given us four. So let's just use the easiest one, which is probably um, this one here. 
So y is 9, so I write 9. And x is 2, so I write 2 squared. And then I'm going to um, multiply through by 2 squared, which obviously is 4. And that will give me 9 times 4 on the left, which is 36. And the timesing by 2 squared is going to cancel the 1 over 2 squared, so we're just going to get k on the right. Great. We look at our formula we set up here, and we write that as y is equal to 36 times 1 over x squared, or y is equal to 36 over x squared. Okay, next part of the question, it says given that x is greater than 0, find the value of x when y is 144. Well, summing in y is equal to 144, we get 144 is equal to 36 over x squared. Times both sides by x squared gives me 144 x squared equals 36. And then divide both sides by 144 gives me x squared is equal to 36 over 144. And then square root. It tells me that x is positive, so I'm going to get the positive value, not the negative one. And I'll just do the square root of 36 over 144. And it gives me a half. Perfect. And just to remind it, you could have used any of these pairs. You could have used 3 and 4, or you could have used any of them, and you would have got the same uh, answer as we did with 36. Okay, next question is a bit trickier. There's more algebra involved. It says y is directly proportional to the cube of x. So we write y is proportional to um, x cubed. So we write y is equal to k times by x cubed. And then we sub in our bits of information. It says that y is equal to 20h, so I write 20h here, is equal to k. And x is equal to h, so x cubed will be h cubed. And now to find k, I would divide both sides by h cubed, so I'll get 20h over h cubed. And the h's will cancel there to get 20 over h squared. So we take this, and we write it down here as y is equal to k is 20 over h squared times by x squared. Cubed, sorry, cubed. Perfect. Okay, next part of the question asks me to find x in terms of h when y is equal to 67.5h. So we sub into the formula. We write 67.5 h is y, and we know y is equal to 20 over h squared times x cubed. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is multiply uh, both sides by h squared, which will give me 75.77, sorry, 67.5 h cubed, because h squared times h is h cubed. And that will cancel the uh, divide by h squared on that side. So we get this. I'll then divide both sides by 20. And 67.5 divided by 20 is 27 over 8. And that looks good to me because those are cube numbers, which is really helpful. And then I need to cube root both sides. So our cube root 27 over 8, and that should give me 3 over 2. Yes, it does. Our cube root h cubed, which will give me h, and our cube root x, which will give me x. So we get x is 3 over 2 h, and we're done. Okay, last question is, again, a tricky one. It says that um, r is proportional to t squared. Show the relationship between, um, and the graph shows the relationship. Find a formula for r in terms of t. So my first thing I would write is that r is proportional to t squared, as it says in the question, which means that r is equal to k times by t squared. 
And now I need a, um, a, a condition where um, we know the R and we know the T. So we can use the graph. And I'm going to pick this point right here. You could pick any point, but this point is um, exactly um, on a set of coordinates. So that's going to be nice and accurate. So we're going to use um, R is 10 and T is 2, so 2 squared. Um, and then dividing through, we're going to get 10 over 2 squared, which is 4, is equal to K. Um, so 10 divided by 4 is 2.5. So K is equal to 2.5. So our formula is that R is equal to 2.5 T squared. And you could have used this point as well. That would have been another good one. 4 and 40, that would have worked just as, just as well. Okay. So this is the tricky part of the question as well. We had R is equal to um, 2.5 T squared. And it says that given also that R is equal to 8 over 5X, show that T is inversely proportional to x, or the cube, the square root of x. Okay, this is a really tricky question, and it's only worth two marks, I've just noticed, which seems a bit strange. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to write this as a fraction, 2.5, because r is written as a fraction here, so I think it might be easier. So I'll write 5 over 2, um, and I'll write times by t squared, so I can put the t squared on the uh, numerator. And now r is equal to this, but it's also equal to that, so we can set those two things equal to each other. So I can write that um, 5t squared over 2 is also equal to r, which is also equal to 8 over 5x. And I can then um, get rid of these uh, denominators, so I can times both sides through by 2, which will give me this. Uh, times in by 2 would times the numerator by 2 on the right, and it will cancel the denominator on the left. I can then divide both sides by 5. And if I divide 16 over 5 by 5, then that will give me 16 over 25. So if I divide that by 5, uh, and then divide that by 5 again, I'll get 16 over 25. And the x will stay on the bottom as well. And then I can finally find what t is equal to by square rooting both sides of this. And if I square root this fraction, I get uh, 4 over 5. So I get 4 over 5. And then if I square root the x on the bottom, I get the square root of x, like that. And I can split this fraction up by writing it as 4 over 5 times 1 over root x. So just check that works. If I times fractions, I times the top together, which will give me 4, and the bottom together, which will give me 5 times root x. And this is enough to show that t is equal to some constant, like a number, 4 over 5, times by 1 over root x, which means that t is proportional to 1 over root x, um, which means that it's inversely proportional to uh, root x. And we're done. Uh, that's proportionality done. If you found that useful, please do like the video and subscribe if you're not already. And then move on to the next topic. I'll see you there. Bye for now.